Hello friends, you are watching Arudire Plus, the professional CAD CAM solution provider. This channel provides basics of finite element analysis and computer-aided mechanical engineering design and analysis using CAD-related software. Let's get started. Hello friends, today I'll show CFD heat transfer through multiple pipes with porous material using SOLIDWORKS Pro solution. The model is already made using SOLIDWORKS, you can see the model here itself. This is the entry point and this is the exit point. In between, we are having three different uh, cylindrical containers, all are having same dimensions and inside these cylindrical portions providing porous material. And the reason for providing porous material is back flow will be reduced by the same time volume flow rate and pressure etc. all will be reduced. If we see the dynamics of the flow particles, streamlined motion of flow particles can be viewed by using this porous material. Right? So this is the model you can see here itself. All are having same dimensions, same length, same diameter also. Now we can view the behavior of these flow particles through different locations and ultimately we can optimize the flow rate at the different output locations. Okay. Today in our analysis, our concentration will be to see the dynamics of flow particles and the behavior of these flow particles. We have made the model transparent for better viewing these flow particles and the leads have also been provided. Now let us start this one with flow simulation. First of all, we have to create that flow simulation environment by using wizard. And we're keeping the name of the project as default project 2. The system we're considering SI system and temperature we'll consider degree centigrade. Next. It is an internal analysis and we are considering heat conduction in solids. Next. Gases will consider air. Next. The material we are considering aluminum alloys that is aluminum 6061. Next. Default out of wall thermal conditions and roughness we are considering. Uh, actual values will be provided during application of boundary conditions. Next, thermodynamic parameters. Uh, pressure we, we are considering 101325 Pascal and temperature will be 20 degree centigrade. And uh, solid parameters also it will be same that means 20 degree centigrade. Let's uh, finish it. This is the computational domain. Right. We can edit this part, we can make it a little bigger to ascertain that all parts of this model are inside this domain. You can check our domain is ready. Now we can hide this part. Next one we have to apply boundary conditions and we have already told that for applying boundary conditions it is always suggested to have a segmented view of this model. So we will cut it along some specific plane. Let's cut it from top plane. Now we have to apply mass flow rate at the entry location. So boundary conditions, insert boundary condition. And we have to provide the mass flow rate at a rate of 0 0.01 kg per second. Thermodynamic parameters. Let's consider here at 60 degree centigrade is entering at the inlet location. We have to select that location. Selected. We can check. Now we have to apply atmospheric pressure at the exit location. Boundary conditions. Insert boundary condition. Environmental pressure at the exit location. Selected. We can check. It is applied. Right now, we can see the complete view of this model and we can apply this porosity to this material. Porous material should be applied, right? So, conditions porous medium and uh, predefined to isotropic that means porosity will be constrained throughout all directions, it will be having the same porosity. Now, we have to apply to this material. Select select other first location is selected second one also select 
are the second row is also selected now third one select other so plus materially selected you can check almost all the boundary conditions have been applied now we can apply the last one that is wall conditions boundary conditions insert boundary condition now we want to see walls let us consider outer walls it will transfer heat by convection with a rate of 90 watt per meter square degree kelvin let's select that top surfaces of this model so we can select it from the geometry itself all the top parts have been selected green check so we have applied all the boundary conditions next one to select some goals let us select some surface goals insert surface goal when you see average temperature of fluid at the exit end and select that location select other lead to done so one goal we have decided temperature at the exit location now you can see some other things like pressure velocity etc also let us decide another goal insert surface goals we want to have average velocity at the exit location select other lead to print check so two goals we have decided one is average temperature of fluid at the exit location and average velocity at the exit location now we can run it let's run it the solar window has already started mesh capture is going on it has started iterations you can see from here settings where you see temperature of fluid okay you see minimum temperature is 19.95 degrees centigrade and maximum temperature is 60 degrees centigrade beta you can see all these things in the form of graphs in terms of goals you can see the values the green color is actually average velocity and the red color is average temperature fluid you see the temperature of fluid in two different scales it is showing let the iterations move on whenever it is finished we'll see the results and go for analysis after 98 iterations solver is finished now we can check our results let's close it results let's see results in the form of cut plots from the beginning insert cut plots when you see it is us from front lens and it will be temperature of fluid green check if you see from the front plane we can view these things different colors are visible better to see these things in the form of an animation cut plot one Let's play it. You can see the temperature at different locations are different. You can see the velocity also. Let's see velocity. So we can see clearly the velocity at different locations are different. Now we want to see surface plots. So cut plot one, clear and hide, surface plots, insert. First one we want to see temperature of fluid. Let's select all faces, green check. 
can see here the temperature at different locations are completely different at the first chamber temperature is high in the range of 52 to 56 degree centigrade second one is in the range of 48 to 52 degree centigrade and third one 44 to 48 degree centigrade range right when inside the pipes also we can see if you see from this, this side initially temperature is very high 60 degree centigrade and at the exit location temperature is in the green zone that means in the range of 36 to 44 degree centigrade right and above the pipes uh, you can see the layer of the pipes it is blue that means temperature is less 20 degree centigrade at the boundary at the borders right and inside this pipe at the innermost position temperature is different let us see in different things like velocity also you can see velocity at the boundary will be different it will be blue zero velocity because at the boundary you can expect zero velocity and inside this chamber inside this pipe we are having different velocities also right fine now we want to see the dynamics of these flow particles through the flow trajectories so first one we will clear and hide these surface plots clear and hide now we want to see the dynamics of flow particles through flow trajectories flow trajectories insert the numbers instead of 20 you can make it little higher for having better view let's make it 60 numbers and instead of pipes you want to see in these things in the form of arrows only let's select that location select select other lead one pen check now you can see the flow particles right better to see in these things in the form of an animation flow trajectories play by the color of these flow particles you can see the velocity temperature etc velocity at the entry is very high it is in the range of red that means 7.8 to 9.8 meter per second and at the exit also velocity is very high in between velocity is reduced inside this porous material velocity is very less it is below 1.96 meter per second as we are applying porosity of 50 percent that means volume flow rate pressure temperature etc all are reduced while passing through this porous medium by the same time we can see the pattern of these flow particles it is streamlined and also we can observe that no backflow is occurring here in this case let's make this particle a little bigger and watch in a better way let's edit this part again view in different way flow trajectories edit definition and we want to change these things instead of spheres we can make it arrows and let's make this one instead of 60 make it 100 numbers when check now we can see these things by zooming and better to see from top plane now let's see these things in the form of animation so from top plane it is clearly visible that mass flow rate from the first chamber is less in the second chamber is relatively small and the third chamber mass flow is more again is the velocity also velocity at the first location is more as it is approaching towards the end pipe velocity is reducing and at this location where all the three particles are meeting velocity is high it is in the range of 7.8 to 9.84 
meter per second. If we see the temperature, let's see the temperature of these air particles. It is also showing temperature at the starting point. It is very high. It is in the range of 60 degrees centigrade. And as it is entering the first chamber, its temperature is in the range of 52 to 56 degrees centigrade. Second one, it is a little bit less. You see from the colors, the temperature it is in the range of 48 to 52 degrees centigrade. The second one is also a little bit less. Right? And after mixing, the temperature is in the green zone. That means it is in the range of 40 to 44 degrees centigrade. It is a mixture of green and yellow. Right? You see by zooming, let's make it a little bigger one. You see the flow particles. So by introducing porous media, we can have a streamlined motion of these flow particles and also back flow is completely reduced and we can control the mass flow rate, volume flow rate and temperature etc. by using this porous medium. Right? Now in this case what can you do is we can optimize these things at the exit point by providing some kind of valves. We can go for some kind of optimization by changing some input variables. Input variables may be the mass rate of air intake or it may be the dimensions of all these different pipes or of these different containers. Even we can change the porosity of different cylindrical portions and by changing all these input variables we can optimize the mass rate at different locations. From this drawing it is clearly visible that mass rate through these different chambers are not equal. We can have a controlled mass flow rate through these different perforated cylinders or you can say these porous material cylinders by controlling the porosity of this material okay so this is all about today's heat transfer analysis through multiple pipes using porosity if you like this video please subscribe and share and if you have any kind of doubts please write to me thank you so much for watching this video thank you again bye